know you got the flair. Tell me where you got from, cause I love your hair. No, oh, yo, don't stop there. Give me all the beauty tips, show me the skin care. Show me how you do. Hi guys, this is Des. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a quick wig review for you. This wig is called Mackenzie. She's by the Vivica Fox Hair Collection. This is the hang tag, guys, that comes with the collection. And it's a general hang tag, guys. It's the same hang tag for most of the, the wigs. I bought two from the Luxurious Hair Boutique. And they both have the same hang tag. Along with this wig comes two or a couple of strips of um, top stick. This is if you want to, you know, glue it down. I'm not going to be using that today. And your wig comes in this box. In this box, this is the box right here. So everything comes really nice and packaged for you. And uh, so that when you're done with your wig, you can put it back in your box and you know, store it really properly. This is Mackenzie. Now, let me tell you the color. The color is FS1B slash 33. And 1B is a dark brown. And the 33 would be like the copper highlights that you see here. And this is really nice. And this 1B looks a little dark, looks a little black, more black than off black. But that's okay. I like the, um, the length is beautiful, guys. I like the curls. It comes with a lot of big curls big spiral curls that you just can gently pull out with your fingers or you can use your wide tooth comb and that's what I use today to loosen my curls. Just so you guys know I did purchase Mackenzie. purchased her from the Luxurious Hair Boutique and Mackenzie cost me $69.99. And it's a lot of hair, guys. It's a little more than medium density. It's a lot of hair that you have here. And uh, she has a lot of nice curls. So I'm going to get started with my review. Okay, guys. So this is Mackenzie. This is her hair texture. The hair is very soft. And you can see it has a lot of wide, wide curls, chunky curls, spiral curls. This is it right here. And here, let me just do this right now for you guys very quickly. I already cut the lace off, if you can see it. Remove the lace. And inside she has three combs. Right along here guys, so she has a, a comb that's meant for the center of your natural hairline. And then two combs which would appear to go right above right here, just, just next to them. Not even, a, just about a half an inch apart. So you've got three combs clustered together, and you have no combs on the side, no combs for here, but you do have a okay and no combs in the back. All right, so there's no combs in the back. Three combs, and they're all in the front at the top portion of the hairline. You have adjustable straps in the back here, and you have your typical lace right here and your weft design also inside. Now I took liberties and I measured your your part line when you want to part your lace front and so from here to here you get two and a quarter inches so that's a nice uh, parting section you get two and a quarter inches is a lot. So what I did notice while I was checking this out I see two little loops right here guys and what I'm going to use them for, and I don't know if it's meant to be used for this. Can you see that? I'm going to insert some bobby pins in there so that we can um, have some extra, uh, you know, security measures there. I'm not going to use any glue or any adhesives to put down any wigs of mine, guys, any lace wigs. You'll probably never see me do that because I do have allergies and sensitivities to the glue and the um, adhesives. So I'm not going to do that. So right now I'm going to put this on for you very quickly. I'm going to get this on and then see how she looks.
Okay guys, I do find that this wig is a little snug for my head. I'm going to take out the I'm gonna undo the okay one is out. The adjustable straps. I'm gonna have to take those off because this is really too too snug. And the adjustable straps was on the the furthest point apart, so I mean now I can't even use those at all. And let me just see if I can get this hair on. I think this wig it feels like this is too small for me guys, so <laughs> gonna have to we're gonna have to just try to get through this together. And I'll try to get you the pros and cons here that you need to make the best um, make the best purchase. So I'm going to definitely use those bobby pins that I put in the side loops there because I don't feel like I'm having any security here. It feels like it's actually slipping. So, okay. So these are the bobby pins that I put in a minute ago. I'm pushing those in and that's giving me some security. Now I'm going to not use all three of those combs because I don't really want any comb at the front of my hairline, pulling at my hairline. Alright guys, this wig is definitely tight. This is a tight wig, guys. So, and I have an average sized head and I've never encountered uh, this problem before. So, I don't know if this wig is small, cut small, or my head is just big, big. <laughs> but, okay, so let me just comb some of the curls out and with my fingers, I'll start with my fingers and then I'll use my, my wide tooth comb and I'm going to make sure that I'm feeling that this is kind of snug, the comb that I place. I'm using the two combs on the side and it's feeling kind of snug. And I cut the hair, of course I cut the lace off, but I'm not happy with this hairline because because it, I think it's too small, it keeps slipping back. So what I'll do is I'll use that center comb, if I can find it, and just place it there so that it won't slip back as much. But, okay guys. All right, let me just start combing it out. And I can see the lace. If you, so I'm gonna have to do some blending here, blending my own natural hair out right here because you can see the lace. Before I do that, I'm just gonna get it into a style for you. Now I like the style, I like the color. I like the color my own natural because it doesn't come because this wig doesn't come forward this this part of my hairline is exposed and, and my wig cap has already slipped back so that's not gonna help anyway and anyway you know we wouldn't want your wig cap here anyway if this wig is too small I don't know if it's gonna be too small for a lot of you I know it's I, I feel it's too small for me okay I'm just gonna loosen up the curls a little bit and I'm going to keep working it with my fingers. Okay, I'm going to turn around and let you guys see what the back looks like. Okay, and I'm get comb and we'll start blending outward just a little at a time. And you may want to use any kind of gels or holding sprays, anything that you want to make your hairline look natural. Okay, guys, so I like the style. I like the color combination, the uh, FS 1B slash 33. I love that. Um, one of the things that I, I should tell you that I know I have an average size head. But this wig fits a little snug on me, so keep that in mind. 
I can't use my adjustable straps because it makes it too tight. I can't even have it on the widest point of the slots because it's still too snug. And uh, we don't have any combs here, and I need combs here. So I just put some bobby pins right here. So, I mean, if you like this wig and you want to try it out, just keep that in mind. Make sure that you, you know you need bobby pins here if you need to feel that security, you know, that extra measure of security like your wig is not going to slip, at least on the sides. It won't slip from the top because you have three combs. But anyway, this is a quick vid, guys, for the Mackenzie. This is the Vivica Fox hair collection. This is this is nice. I mean, the hair is nice. I still like the hair for the uh, wig company. It feels soft. I like that. I like the little section I got going here. So just blending over my own hair made the uh, lace blend out very easy. Just it blended away very easy. So so that's it, guys. If you have any questions about the Vivica Fox McKenzie wig, let me know. I will. Um, get back to you as soon as I can and you take care and you be well and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.